Hey everyone, Ghost Toast here. Uh, it's been a long time since I've uh, put anything toward the Slenderman series, but I figured since I'm starting this back up again, I owe you guys uh, both an explanation for why it's been so long and an explanation for the actual episode. So first I'd just like to say that um, things have been weird this past year and a half-ish or year or so for me, and um, a lot changed up. Uh, my life's a lot different than it was just a year and a half ago, and things just changed. And I, I wasn't able, not only was I not able to work on as many animations as I wanted to, but um, I had the thought that I that I basically discontinued the series and I stopped making it until recently. Um, I was watching the episodes over again and I saw the last episode and I honestly completely completely forgot that I even made the tenth episode and when I saw the episode I was stunned not only at the quality that I had put into it the, the quality of work that I had put into the episode but um, I, it turned out that I made it so that I could continue the series and I completely forgot about that for one and secondly um, I was really discouraged because not only does a lot of it actually not make sense which we're about to get into um, but I didn't put my full effort into many of the episodes basically there's only three episodes that I really actually tried to make good and that's episode one episode three and episode ten and uh, so I, I Oh, you guys an apology for that I mean a lot of these episodes not only do they not make sense really but um, they they could have been a lot better a lot better in quality a lot better just all around effort I could have I could have given more effort so let's get into the actual uh, actual explanation episode one was originally just supposed to be a standalone episode obviously just a little recap, uh, we see that the daughter does drawings and um, she, she dies, or at least she, seemingly she dies in a car accident or she gets hit by a car because she's chasing after a drawing that gets blown into the wind and uh, then we see Slenderman sort of wake up in the woods sort of like all washed up, uh, upset over his daughter's death, he's posting these drawings in the woods in memory of his daughter and as as we see earlier in that episode uh, there's a picture of him with his whole family in the woods and now he's uh, both lost his daughter and his wife and he's posting the drawings in the woods because he's like a wreck and he's sad and he's like just abandons his house and he goes in the woods and anybody who takes the drawings um, is then a victim of Slenderman because he's like pissed that you're taking his his daughter's drawings from the trees and from wherever he posts them so that was the explanation for the first episode standalone now it sort of gets weird when I continue the series because I was watching it and I was trying to do this explanation video earlier and it just came to the conclusion that it, a lot of it just does not make sense so we'll skip episode two because that's just like a filler episode that I used to reference Five Nights at Freddy's which I thought would be neat but in that episode we learned that um, that he's basically it's just a memory of his daughter and at the end we see the ripped up teddy bear number three is where we find out the daughter didn't actually get hit by a car now this this continuation from the first episode it's really more of a spin-off like what if the daughter didn't die what if this happened you know so what if the daughter was saved by slender man and we so he's what if she was saved and what if the real reason that slender's sad and and stuff is because she went missing some other way so there's the reveal uh, where we see that this Emperor Palpatine looking dude uh, comes and takes the daughter and we don't know why we don't know what weird ass sort of cult this this guy's a part of I apologize for the background noise guys I forgot to silence my phone um, so basically that's where the the series really continues to unravel I guess uh, so he goes looking for her in the woods after this guy takes her. He's going through the woods and he's noticing all these pages on the trees and he's like, what the heck? Like, like, uh, like these seem to be my daughter's drawings. 
and they're on these trees in the woods. They're like, why are they here? You know, and the only clue that he had to go to the woods in the in the first place was that necklace that he found on the floor, right? So he goes to the woods and he's looking around, can't find anything, and in the end he's just sad. And a, a mysterious paper floats out of nowhere, and we see that it says, uh, you know, it follows, and it's a drawing of the little uh, Emperor Palpatine dude. So it's sort of like a mysterious, mysterious mystery, if you will. Um, Steakenburger is the th what the fourth episode we see is just this little restaurant. It was really just a filler episode, um, but in it we learn that the daughter's still missing and Slenderman's going about his life just sad, you know. So the next episode, which is episode number who knows, because this episode I really don't care about because it's really this is where we see the lack of artistic effort that I put into it, and it was really just a where everything started going downhill and I didn't really care for the quality of the videos and, and I, I apologize for that guys because I could have made it really cool and I didn't and I'm only now realizing how just how how thankful I am for the opportunity to be able to make episodes of something that that whoever watches I don't care who watches them they're just you know it, it wasn't really meant to be a whole thing but I've been bombarded with comments since I stopped making these videos and um, I'm thankful that episode 11 is out now and it's it's getting views still and you guys are still into it so um, I definitely am not going to take this for granted anymore so we're on to this episode let's see episode number let's see one two four episode number five is where we learned that Slenderman's doing research on these this symbol and we find that oh it's this weird cult right and so he has this little map in the girl's bedroom of, of different images and news clippings of other missing children. So he's trying to figure out what the heck is going on. Why are these, these people taking these children? And uh, so that's where the episode ends. The next episode, episode number six, we see the daughter with the Emperor Palpatines in the woods. And we learn that we still don't know their motive for taking her. They're obviously not hurting her. But... Uh, she runs away from them and eventually finds her dad's her dad in the woods looking for her. But before she finds him, um, we see that this guy sort of zaps her. The Emperor Palpatine dude sort of zaps her into this alternate dimension where she's not able to like she runs to her dad, but her dad doesn't see her and she can't even interact with him. Um, but she noticed that he is finding the drawings that she's been doing. So. Um, she's like, oh, she gets this idea uh, that that's how she can communicate with him. So so she does. And that's where we see, oh, she was the one who threw that page that seems to float out of nowhere in the, the previous episode or whenever it was. And uh, again, that is the It Follows drawing. So the episode ends there. This next episode is where Slenderman is like frustrated. He's like, what the hell? Like trying to figure out what all these drawings mean and then he's connecting the dots and we see that oh man this this Emperor Palpatine dude has been following them all along and is basically he, they've been watching him and his daughter and uh, once he realizes this he reaches behind him in that moment and like you know he he realized oh it's watching me all the time it's right behind me now so he grabs him and that's where the episode ends so that's episode number Six, seven, eight, right? We're on episode eight, I think. So episode eight is when we see like the big showdown between the Emperor Palpatine dude and Slenderman. Slenderman seemingly has him in his grasp and seemingly is about to save the day. And this is where things take a turn for the worse because I decided that I was I was pretty much done making the series and I was like, I'm tired of this and I I decided to just make it so that somehow the guy zaps Slenderman into the woods through some magic, conveniently, uh, and we see Emperor Palpatine, <laughs> we'll call him, with the daughter, and Slender's unable to do anything, and Emperor Palpatine turns her daughter into um, just basically a skeleton. He he takes her her life essence away. He basically kills her, and uh, Slender's left with just a little skeleton daughter, and the guy gets away somehow. And that was my, like, I was like, yep, I'm done. And I, I really regret making that episode because it just furthers 
the confusion. Every episode <laughs> just keeps furthering the confusion. And uh, we move on to this next one, which I think is episode number nine. Yeah, episode number nine. And we see it's sort of a little bit in the future. And uh, here's where we start to realize, okay, um, Slender Man's house is abandoned. He no longer stays there. And um, it cuts to the scene in the woods of a daughter and her mother, sort of uh, broken down car scenario. And ba basically it alludes to the fact that Slender Man, this is where he starts turning dark and he starts taking children because um, he's desperate to, to get his daughter back. Um, and we, we don't know what he plans to do, but um, we see he's taking children. And then the next episode, episode number 10. Episode number 10, guys, I that's the one episode I'm, I'm actually really proud of that episode visually it's it's stunning i did not remember making this honestly when i first saw it like, like recently i was like what the I, I did not remember this uh honestly so we see it's picking up where we left off we find the ghost toast plushie on the floor we find slender man in this little abandoned cabin shack thingy and he has a, a dead body in front of him alluding to the to the fact that it's maybe the little girl from before or just a child actually you know what i did make it the little girl because we see her bow on this desk behind slender man i totally forgot about that i literally just remember that as i as i'm scrolling through the video here uh so he turns into a, a killer basically to try to bring back his daughter and uh we see that he's doing some sort of ritual you know and um, at the very end of this episode, uh, we see what happened with the, that other daughter. The daughter was taken, and then Slender Man's daughter is stitched up, and she's basically just pieces of other children stitched up together, and Slender Man's about to do this ritual to bring her back to life. And that's where I ended things. And I, I don't know why the heck I didn't start doing these uh, start these back up earlier oh at th at the end of the all episodes or episodes one through ten um i put a little note there that says don't worry it's not completely over i'm going to be re remaking these this series uh, so look out for the remade episodes and that's where i can i confuse things even further by making two completely separate episodes that honestly have nothing to do with this original series so these those two episodes basically let's see if i can find them here uh, as i'm recording this i'm just scrolling through my channel and stuff so those two episodes uh, i'm just gonna leave as is i'm not gonna continue those two new episodes because um they're unrelated to this series and i i, I just wanted to try to remake everything and try to make it make sense but but this original thing is is way too big now to to like if i just continued the remade series it's just going to confuse people even further even though the two remade episodes look really really good but honestly I'll, i'm just considering these two remade episodes um just standalone episodes by themselves basically think like what if what if it was a diff uh, a slightly different story and episode 2 of the the remade episodes we see um sort of the same situation slender girl is upset her mom recently passed away and then she follows this strange she follows this strange necklace outside and she disappears and and she goes missing and the, it was like man I just wish I didn't stop making videos, but there was no choice at a certain point. I I I had to, um, I had to get a job at a pizza place in order to pay the bills, and when I did that, uh, everything regarding Slenderman, everything regarding like the Ghost Host original videos that I was making, they just uh, they were put on the back burner, so to speak, um, and I regret that fact, but. Uh, I've made it so that I, I, I've made time now to continue the series. And what I'm going to do is just leave those two um, Slender and Stormy episodes as they are. 
um, we'll sort of just forget about them, even though they're pretty they're pretty damn visually stunning for for my skills back then. I think they're they're really they look really good. But considering the Slenderman all episodes and the continuation of episode number eleven, um, we're just gonna stick with the explanation that. Uh, how about I sum it all up? So, so Slenderman um, loses his daughter to this creepy cult of Emperor Palpatine's, and uh, so they kill her. And in order to bring her back to life, Slenderman starts kidnapping other children and stitching their bodies into one new, basically, daughter around. Uh, We'll just say around the skeleton that he was left with, and he brings her back to life. And that's where we are with episode number 11. And just in case there's any further uh, confusion, every few episodes, I'm going to stitch them together, release that as one little uh, full series of episodes, and then I'm going to release another thing just like this where I explain what's going on. So uh, that'll avoid any confusion for for you guys. I know there's so much, so many kids coming up with theories, and honestly, guys, I wish I had made it uh, make more sense. I don't know what to say. It's it's a bummer. It's a bummer that I didn't make it better. Um, and again, those other two standalone episodes, they they probably they're probably confusing people even more. <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, this is my explanation, and. Uh, there you have it. Uh, I am continuing with this series, and I'm actually integrating some new characters, uh, new to you guys, that is. These characters, I've had an idea for them for so long. They're like these little ghost hunter characters, and uh, they they have this YouTube channel. Oh, you, you guys are going to like it. It's going to be really cool. I'm going to integrate them into this series, and uh, it's just going to be uh, like who knows what's going to happen because I write each episode as I go. And uh, uh, that's not the reason why the first half really didn't make sense. I, I just honestly didn't care at a certain point. But I guarantee you guys, um, things will make sense from now on. So I know it's not the explanation you guys were hoping for. You were hoping to be like, oh, okay, now it all makes sense because you said that. But no, it's it really doesn't make any sense, guys. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to leave it at that, all right? Um, again, I apologize for that. But uh, I want to say thank you to all of you guys that are still really crazy about this little series that I made. Um, and I'm really upset at myself for, for discontinuing it. And, and uh, I'm glad that I'm bringing it back. Because you know what got me thinking? Like, like I was, I don't know, I was like tired of drawing Slenderman. And I thought the other day, I was like, does Pendleton Ward get tired of drawing Finn or Jake from Adventure Time, his creation? Does... Does does uh, JG Quintel ever get tired of drawing Mordecai? Probably not. These that's those are like their creations, and in the same way, uh, this little series that I made out of this creepy pasta character is uh, my own little creation, and uh, I I'm really glad to have uh, I guess regained a new appreciation for my own little creation. So. Uh, with that said, I'm going to end the video here, guys, and uh, uh, I'm actually about to go pick up my girlfriend. So, uh, until next time, my name is Ghost Toast. Uh, hopefully, you guys will be seeing, no, for sure, you guys are going to be seeing more episodes of uh, The Slender Man, A Sad Story, and you guys are going to be seeing, hopefully, some original Ghost Toast animations like I used to do back in the day. And uh, I'm hoping to have a pretty interesting, unique format. It's just an idea I've been toying around with today. Right now, I'm focused on the Slenderman videos, but there's a lot more to come, and I'm definitely not done with this channel. I've seen a lot of comments saying, like, Ghost Toast is dead, or, or this channel's dead. And uh, honestly, I thought it was dead for a long time, too. But, but no, it's not dead. It's very much alive, and uh, it's, it's, it's more alive than it's ever been in my brain. So and now it's just up to doing the work. So until next time, guys, my name is Ghost Toast. Be sure to share this video with any of your friends that are like like claiming they know the, the story and how it goes. And honestly, you could if you if you find a way to make it make sense in your own brain, 
and just go with that explanation, man, because I know mine is pretty poor. Uh, until next time, guys, my name is Ghost Toast. Peace.